Hey guys, it's Becca. Welcome to my channel and thank you so much for joining me. Today is the 10th of the month, so that means it is the Partners in Cream update. I am, of course, filming this a few days prior, but it'll be up on the 10th. That's, that's when the updates are. This was created by Steph Lyons and Dalin. There is a whole community and playlist and hashtag and everything. It's an amazing little community, so if you have not already joined in and binge watched these projects, then I highly encourage you to do so. There's so many wonderful personalities partaking in this, but if you're interested in seeing how I have been doing, then just keep on watching. So if you are new to this project, this project is of course called Partners in Cream, which means we are going to be focusing on our non-powder products. So you can have creams, liquids, perfumes, nail polishes, basically any kind of makeup or I guess skincare, anything that's not powder products. I do have five products at a time and I do keep one is going to be a liquid or cream eyeshadow at all times and then the other four are going to be other cream products. Most of the time my goal is to finish them but with my cream eyeshadows my goal is going to be hit it, use it 10 times and then roll it out and roll something else new in. So I do have three products that I'll be rolling out of the project so I'm going to go ahead and go through those ones first. I have two empties and one is a Goal Met type of product. So I'll talk about the first one is the Goal Met and that is my um, show your sparkle space that I have been adding into this project. This was created by one of my friends here on YouTube. I will leave her information down below, but she has a project where she is focusing on all kinds of glitter and liquid and cream eyeshadows because they get neglected so often in so many people's collections. And I could not make myself focus on a bunch of them at a time, but I do want to have at least one at a time that I will be looking at, and I use it 10 times, and then I will roll it the out. The shade that I have been focusing on in here is, of course, the Super Shock shade, and that is called Precious Cargo, so you can see it right there. It is this beautiful shimmery shade with kind of like a little bit of a shift of yellowy green in there. I was very excited to have this palette in my vanity for this past month, but uh, shame on me, I did not actually use any of the other shades in here. I just used that one the 10 times and then I rolled it out. So hopefully I will find another reason to bring this back into my vanity and focus on it some more because I really do love a lot of the shades in here, not just the Super Shock one. I really love this silvery green. I really love this kind of yellowy green here. There's so many beautiful shades and this little palette was put together very nicely, but it will be rolling out and that means I will be able to roll in a new cream eyeshadow. The next product isn't empty. It has been in the project since February, so I'm very excited to have finally finished it, but it is the little Tristique Mini Lip Glaze in the shade English Rose. I will go ahead and show you where the progress has been with this one so you can kind of see right here. The black was the first month, the green is the second month, and then this blue here was this past month. I will go ahead and roll this up. So there's like the tiniest little smidge there, but since I've been using it as a cream blush, I would like draw it on my cheeks and then rub it in. Now I can't really get it on there without the sides of the packaging wiping it off or uh, lifting up my foundation underneath. So I'm calling it good. I'm calling it done. I have used this a ton. I'll have numbers up somewhere so that you can see how many times I have used this but it is finished and I am so excited to have finished another lip product. And the last product rolling out is probably not a surprise, but it is the Mellow Brow Definer. Every little single bit of writing has rubbed off of this thing now, except for the little sticker that tells us what color it is. But it's one of those that kind of has the triangular shape there. I have it all the way rolled up. There is nothing more to use. These things I go through pretty quickly. So I am very happy. I think I'm on my last one or two brow pencils in my collection. So these next two products are staying in the project. One of them is this Araceli Brown Eyeliner. I just wanted to put this out here because I hardly ever use any eyeliner except for my liquid black eyeliner. And I actually only used it a few times the first month it was in. I used it five times, but this past month I used it 14 times and I found I had a really um, nice time pairing this with my peach looks and my kind of yellow green looks and I also liked pairing it with some kind of pinky looks. So I did actually wear this quite a few times and I'm not um, sure how long it's gonna be in here, but you can see there's still a lot of wet eyeliner ink in there. I'll just continue to play with it for a while. We'll just see where this goes. And the last item that is staying in the project is my Milani lip liner. I will go ahead and show you how I have marked it so far. Here is where we were, are at the 
black is the first month, the red is the second month, the green is the third month, and then this blue is this most recent month here. This is all we have left. It is getting close to the end. I can't imagine that I can sharpen this too many more times. It's starting to get a little bit unwieldy that it's so small. So I think maybe one or two more months and then I will be able to say goodbye to my, my little Milani lip liner. I do have a little bit of it on today. It is a bit more um, warm toned than most of the lip colors that I like to wear, which is why it's not pairing very well but I'm trying to use it anyway, and hopefully this will be done very soon. So that soon. means I get to roll in three more products. One of them is going to be a beautiful cream or liquid eyeshadow, and then two others are going to be kind of regular non-powder products. I did dig out one more brow pencil. This is a little travel trial size from It Cosmetics. I got it with a free gift with purchase. I'm not gonna roll it all the way up because this morning when I was trying to use it, the whole like eyebrow stick fell out, but this is how much we had to start with. I have used it a few times since putting it in the project and this white area is how much is left in this little product. I actually like this one. It's um, universal taupe, so it's a little bit of a softer color. It's not quite as stark as some of the darker, like brown ones that I've been using, but also it's a stiffer formula, so it is lasting a lot longer than a lot of the other ones that I've used before. So I have been enjoying it. Probably will have it finished by next update though. The next product, this is a first for Partners in Cream for me this year. I am adding in a perfume. I do have perfumes in some of my other projects right now, but I wanted to add in a perfume here. And this one is a little Dollar Tree rollerball perfume that I got a while ago. It's in the shade, scent, whatever, Ebony Blossom. I, I like it, it's floral and a little bit of sweetness to it. But mostly what I want from this is I want to be able to reuse this little rollerball packaging because I have a lot of those um, small sample sizes of perfumes that are in the Dabber um, dispenser and I really dislike those. I don't want to go and order more things to put the perfume into but I was like, oh, I have this one. If I can finish it, then I can put my perfumes into here. I have been Kind of unofficially panning it for a week or so and it was up to the top of the m whenever i started playing with it and now we are down to here i think i may be able to finish this by the next update it i think i will let's make that a goal i want to finish the it brow pencil i want to finish the um little perfume here maybe we can finish the lip liner and then we'll just play with the brown eyeliner because who knows how long that's gonna that last. That leaves one product left to roll into the project and I am rolling in my beautiful liquid eyeshadow. This is the Cover FX liquid eyeshadow in the shade Amethyst and I do have a lot of purple stuff going on right now between my pan those eyeshadows and my 50 shades of purple. So I foresee this one is going to pair really well. I have already used it a handful of times since uh, pulling it out. So there it is. It's not like an overly obnoxious purple shade. It's got a little bit of a hint of purpley pink in it. It's very reflective, very beautiful. I am looking forward to continuing to play with this one. I don't think that this one will still be in next time. I'll probably be able to roll this one out and have a new one to play with. So I feel like that was a pretty successful update. We have these three rolling out. We have these three rolling in. I have several empties that I am anticipating for the next time, and I am feeling pretty good about this project still. Anyway, that is it for this update. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you are staying healthy and safe and in good spirits, and I hope I see you guys in the next one.